Hey, how's it going boys? What is up, Soros back once again and today um Yeah, I've been I've been getting this actually I've been getting this question a lot throughout the, the time I've been actually streaming this game. And uh I just decided to hey you know what I'm just gonna put out a a little tutorial video how I do for mine, I guess. It's it's honestly very simple. So like this is all this is just based on my experience. You don't really have to follow entirely. But yeah, if you have your own settings, by all means go ahead. But this is I feel like probably the best way to actually set up my stream for GBF. So uh, or like even recording stuff in GBF in general. So it's entirely up to you. So anyway, um, let's just let's just get right into it. Alright, so now we, I'm pretty sure, I'm sure you'll be using OBS and stuff like that and I'm using OBS anyway, I'm using the the usual OBS stuff that's really nothing to it, so it's kind of kind of straightforward anyway, so you just want to set up like your obviously your, your, your microphone if you have it, you don't really have to bother with the audio and stuff like that. First things first, you kind of want to like open up your GBF, right? So anyway, I'm just going to open up my GBF, so here it is. So... This is my GBF. So honestly, the best way for me in to set up uh, GBF is obviously to uh, put a display capture. So you just want to like just make a display capture and put it on what whichever screen that you have. I mean, you put it on. And honestly, if you want to get your window to like this, it's honestly very simple. So basically, I'm using Chrome obviously, but uh, you don't really have to do it. You can use like, prob I know some of you are probably using Microsoft Edge or whatever shit like that. It's entirely up to you, it doesn't really matter. So usually you just want to open up and then you log in and then you, you basically have a its own tab just so you can uh, adjust the window as, uh, as much as you want, right? So for my case, I tend to uh, just go to the the website. So basically, you just want to click under settings. You go to more tools, and then you click shortcut. So what happens is that you can click, a sh uh, you can make a shortcut, and then what it does is that you can put also put in on your taskbar and all that shit. Okay, so now that uh, you kind of did that, right? So now you have your own GBF window and such. So honestly, in my opinion, it's best that you actually, you know, if you really want to, you know, obviously like put it like. It's nice for people to look at, so obviously you have to got, turn that stupid shit up, the resolution to the highest. And obviously, the other thing that you probably want to do is to put it to to 3 diamonds. So because what that does is that, because this is increasing the size of the thing, because this thing is so goddamn small, you don't really want it to be too tiny, right? So all you have to do is just press this 3 diamonds thing, it's, it's going to set up like the biggest resolution. So if you really want it to be another way to like make it nice and crisp on your on your whatever OBS or whatever, right? So you kind of have to put it into full screen. So this is literally my entire full screen. This I'm running at 1080p. So it's an entire full screen. All you need to do is just maximize the entire window. You know, like how Windows 10 or whatever. You just do this and then it goes like, you know, this entire window. So what I did is I just, you know, just right click my display capture. If I just want to capture this, I'll just right click under transform and then I just edit the transform and then, you know, I just crop the whole damn thing. Yeah, you know, you just crop the whole entire thing and then just to fit into this specific window. And the reason I do that is because if you use like, because you know, you can actually add window capture and then you just go to the, the window itself. The reason why I use this is that because if, if you use the window capture thing, you will see like your Chrome will show like a blank screen. Like for example here, so if I go window capture, so I just go to Chrome and go GBF and bam, see it's a blank screen, right? It's just a blank screen because this usually happens if you have, oops, if you have uh, Windows uh, hardware acceleration enabled in your Chrome. If you disable it, you can actually see the GBF appearing in your screen. So I'm just going to delete that right now. Wrong one. <laughs> okay, now that now that my fuck up is fixed. <laughs> so now that it's fixed. Um, yeah, so you just want to set it as display capture. I know it's a little bit annoying, but what I tend to do is just, you just, like I said, you just right click and transform and then you just literally crop it, crop the entire screen into what you have. So basically what we'll do is that I'll just crop it and bam. 
So see, I crop the screen and it turns to like that. So basically, this you can actually just adjust it accordingly. You can just put whatever your your overlay and you just adjust your overlay at your own wheel. Doesn't really matter. So another thing is that uh, by doing this, you can also set it like you can just enlarge it or this uh you know uh, reduce the size or whatever. It's really based up to you, but. The reason why you set this to the the number three is just so that you can actually have a, a such a nice huge, uh, resolution. So it's make it look like very very crisp, like you see it on screen right now. So going back to what I said earlier, the main reason why I actually do the whole shortcut thing is because that if I somehow close it, because you know if you you because this is a display capture, you'll capture your mouse and whatever that is literally happening on your screen. So if you if you just close it, right? If you close it because you see that the entire window plane you capture, but if you actually open it again, you'll always appear in the exact same spot no matter what. So it lit the, the windows will always remember where you placed it. So that's one of the main reasons why I actually love this whole uh, if you set it to shortcut and whatever, and you can just put it on your taskbar and stuff like that. So it's it's pretty damn nice and it makes things a lot easier so the other thing is that you probably want to like you know know like how do you set up like or what should you set in terms of like resolution and stuff those those kind of stuff is really based on how how how's uh how good your pc is and how good of your internet is if you're basically if you're planning to stream right so basically this bitrate is the one that is really determined on your quality of your entire stream right I don't think you need me to explain this. If you really want me to go in full, if you really want it like full in depth, you probably can just Google it or some shit or look up through YouTube and shit. So for my case, I put it to 5,000. You don't really have to put it to 5,000. This is just based on how good your internet is. And honestly for GBF, you probably just need 2,500 at most. You don't really need that high in, in the first place. I just put this cause I'm, I'm, I'm like streaming it under like 60 FPS and shit. And I don't really, Put it to 1080p because my my stream is just basically on 720. I don't really think that's the reason for me to go 1080 on the, on for a game like GBF anyway. So it doesn't really matter all too much. Yeah, so it's it's fairly straightforward. So in short, you just need to fucking set up your display capture, and then you just crop it, and then you just set up your your the window your graphical settings and such and then you just put it to to like uh, the diamond number three and then i think you're pretty much set other than that it's kind of like whatever anyway so yeah it's fairly simple i i honestly don't know why people like still ask me to this day because <laughs> it's honestly very simple i didn't think i need to like actually make a video for this but uh yes so yeah, that's really about it for my little tutorial on how to set up your GBF streams anyway. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and uh, hopefully you find this helpful. I'll leave like, subscribe. <laughs> man, this video is weird, man. But yeah, thank you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video on stream. Bye-bye. Uh,